Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to show you some exciting new changes for those of you who use Autodesk CFD, Fusion 360, and Eagle. For our subject, we'll be taking a look at how we designed, validated, and then improved the design of this mobile speaker unit using these three tools in conjunction. Like most products today, this speaker is jam-packed with PCB boards and electronic componentry, and anyone familiar with this type of design knows the importance of thermal management. It can improve performance and help avoid premature failures. But before we take the steps to improve this design, let's see how it was made. Starting with the PCB board, we'll switch into Eagle to see it in this current design state. Although we're looking at this in a pretty simplistic overview, there are details pertaining to every last layer, trace, and even references to the 3D geometry of each and every component. So once completed, you can use the Fusion Sync button on the right hand side of the interface to push this information to our mechanical design tool to verify form and fit. But the main reason for this video is not just that, but also how you can use Fusion 360 to prepare for those all important thermal studies in CFD. Right now, those models that were used to build this PCB board are uber detailed. And while it looks amazing here and would render beautifully, it will do nothing but cause headaches in this simulation. The mesh required to capture these minute details would be cost prohibitive. What we need to do is simplify this, and never have you experienced a simpler way to do this than in the Simulation Simplify workspace in Fusion 360. This workflow will enable us and you to simplify these models quickly and efficiently, and perhaps even more notable is that this is being done independent from the design, so those amazing component details don't get thrown to the wayside. This Simplify workspace includes modeling methods, interference checks, and many of the tools Fusion 360 users, or anyone using 3D design tools, are already familiar with. But there are also some special ones specific to this environment. Things like Replace with Primitive. Replace with Primitive will allow me to convert these highly detailed capacitors into simple cylinder representations, much better for the CFD simulation. Likewise, these rows on rows on rows of pins can be simply swapped for a nice box. This is a fantastic start, but what about all those holes visible and invisible to the human eye? For that, we can use Remove Features. With that command on, we'll simply select the PCB board, and from there we can use the slider and feature toggle to ignore or include everything we want and nothing we don't. Additionally, you can use the interference detection to address and remove any of those with hundreds of combined features and the delete face option to gain additional controls. And after showing the external boundaries of this problem, we're ready to set up and solve this in Autodesk CFT. And how much easier can it get than using the provided button on the toolbar? In CFD, we'll carry on setting up the problem, including defining the materials, air for most of the computational domain, PCB materials, ABS, and silicone for the rest. After that, the boundary conditions will describe both pressure openings, as well as heat generation rates. And then it's time to solve. We we'll want to make sure to add gravity here, since most of the heat transfer is related to natural convection. Thanks to the simplified model, these come back instantaneously. Okay, that's a little movie magic, but the mesh was much simpler with the simplified model. This made significant improvements on solve times, which means we can iterate this design faster, which, in the end, will give us a much better design. After reviewing these initial results, with a multitude of different ways, we've concluded that the heat in the main chip was unacceptable. So let's make a change to the design. We'll jump back into Fusion 360, add a heatsink, and if you think we have to set this problem up all over again in CFD, you would be incorrect. This time, when I go to send it back to resolve this, I will instead choose to update an existing design study. Just find it in the list and update it. And from there, all that was needed to do was define the heatsink material and solve. Now we can view these updated results side by side with the original study and weigh the benefit of the heatsink to the added cost. Hope that helps. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if so, and check out these other videos related to the Simplify workspace and simulation capabilities of Fusion Ultimate. Cheers.